What's your name, darling? My name is Susan Boyle. What's the dream? I'm trying to be a professional singer. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Hard to believe that just nine short months ago, Susan Boyle was literally unknown. Was Susan Ball right to dream a dream? Yes. I am innocent. Very nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a very special show. She dreamed a dream, and that dream became an incredible once-in-a-lifetime reality. Tonight, we're going to celebrate the amazing story that is Susan Boyles. I'll never forget that spine-tingling moment that I first heard Susan sing her original Britain's Got Talent audition in Glasgow. Tonight, we're going to bring you the inside story on Susan's meteoric rise to fame, and she'll be performing some of her favourite songs with some really special guests. But now, let's discover... How it all began. Susan is a very working class area in Blackburn. Eh, a close knit community. We look out for each other. We always have. Susan's always been part of that. Susan was a beautiful looking girl. She had beautiful black curly hair. She always had the best of ribbons and the best of clothes, and Susan was always the classy one. When I was a baby, I told my parents not to expect too much of me because I had a slight disability. I didn't make friends very easily. I couldn't trust anybody. And when I did try to speak to people, they made fun of me. So the only escape from all that, really, was music. Walking out the door, Susan opens her mouth, the jackets are off, they're all sat down. Oh, please, one more drink. Oh, sing another one, sing another one. What we've seen that night on Britain's Got Talent, I've watched that for 20 years. After Mum died in uh, 2007, I didn't fully register until maybe six months after it, when loneliness really set in. Well, I used to find myself crying a lot. I used to find myself not being able to manage, not being able to cope. Although she's not here anymore, physically, spiritually, she is. And I know that she meant me to do something with my life, but I didn't know until I applied for the television programme. It was January 21st, 2009. And I was going to be on Britain's Got Talent as an auditionee. I traditionally don't like doing auditions because I get bored and I get frustrated. When Simon's miserable, we're all miserable. We first saw uh, Susan up in Glasgow. She kind of, you know, didn't, wasn't really chatting to anybody, just kind of sat alone in the corner. So we didn't really take that much notice of her. I'd seen many acts come and go, and they came through with yeses, they came through with noes. Here it came my turn to go in. Hello there. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? A little nervous. Yeah, sure, no. Yeah, well, that's, that's not surprising, but, you know, trying... I've got a fighting mood, you know. And we just thought, oh, here we go. We've got another one of those. <laughs> We've got another one of those. Susan was nervous. Definitely, she, she was definitely nervous. We kind of sent her on stage, and then, if I'm honest with you, our thoughts kind of turned to what we were going to have for lunch. All right, what's your name, darling? My name is Susan Boyle. My knees were not, but I decided, yeah, I will show nerves. I get damn cheeky with it. And how old are you, Susan? I am 47. And that's just one side of me. They must have said to themselves, oh my God. <laughs> OK, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. I could actually feel the audience behind me beginning to get restless. You feel it. They smell blood. Seriously. OK, and who would you like to be as successful as? Elaine Page. Elaine Page. Like God. 
quickly than you can imagine. This one thinks she's going to be a lame page. The level of delusion appeared to know no bounds. And then she began to sing. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Within about five seconds of her singing, I felt this unbelievable change. You didn't expect that, did you? Did you? No. How arrogant were we to assume she was going to be rubbish? And she proved everybody wrong in that one song. It was brilliant, and she absolutely knew she was going to knock our socks off. It was spellbinding. It was one of those moments when your spine starts to tingle. It was amazing. That was the moment where I thought, if she can hit the chorus, this song is going to change her life forever. I could feel it. In the first moment she started singing over in the dream, I was just on the edge of my seat going, wow, can she sustain it? And for some reason, the lyrics of that song seemed to epitomise what she wanted, uh, her own dream of life, indeed her own ex life experience. Like a standard ovation. Even the judges stood up. It was exhilarating, and it was amazing. In fact, to say it at the time, it was, quote, bloody fantastic. What I felt during and after the song, I don't think I've ever felt on any audition in my life. It, there was something magical about that audition. Susan Hoyle, you can go back to the village with your head held high, it's three S's.